rest of the season, Penn State wrote a collision course for a January BCS showdown. But as their final three games slipped so narrowly from their grasp, so did their hopes of a national championship. It's time for the Lions to make amends. It's the 1999 Sylvania Alamo Bowl. Now with its seventh year of existence, this bowl game is quickly becoming one of the games to watch every holiday season. They upset Michigan. Tonight, another Big Ten opponent, the Penn State Nittany Lions. Question tonight, those cheering for the folks in blue and white. Is it the last time that this young man, Lamar Arrington, winner of the Bednarik and Butkus Awards this year, if it's the last time that he will suit up for the Nittany Lions? A lot of folks think that that will be the situation. Mike Godfrey joins us on the telecast uh, as usual. Mike, it's unusual to have three guys on defense that are first-team All-American. Lamar gets so much attention, but I'll tell you, those other two folks, Short and Brown, are awfully, awfully good. Ron, three first-round draft choices in the NFL, and I think the best player of all, Courtney Brown, I think he's the best player in college football. Texas A&M has to find a way to keep him off balance. Brandon Short makes tackles sideline to sideline. Three tough defensive guys to scheme. Kick it off for the Texas Aggies. They won the toss and they deferred to the second hand. Johnson went down on a knee, then brought it out of the end zone. A decision made by Joe Paterno at the very last minute that's going to affect the way the Lions run their offense. Richard Casey, not Kevin Thompson, starts at quarterback. This is because Thompson re-injured his right throwing shoulder in a non-contact drill on Sunday. It tells you how tender that is. What does this mean? Well, Casey really is a more mobile quarterback. A little bit of a surprise for the defensive lineman for AM. They're expecting straight drop back. We're going to see more rollout, more bootleg. Mitchell. He is hit in the backfield and, and it gives us an opportunity to look at the Sun Microsystems starting lineup. Casey at quarterback. Mitchell starts tonight. He's a senior. And of course, Saramelli is the fullback. The receivers, Stewart the tight end, Drummond and Fields the wide receivers. And up front on the offensive line, one change. Greg Ransom got a burner. He is unable to start. Gabe Tencher gets the start there at left guard. And I'm not sure if Ransom is going to be able to play at all tonight for the Lions. Play action. Casey rolls the pocket. Heavy pursuit. Gets it complete to Saramelli, and he will take it out across the 30-yard line for the first down. Casey pulled it down. He's going to run. Here's where he hurts you most. 35. Almost to the 40-yard line. They creep up in the quarters. Blitz is on. Hot route is thrown, and it's incomplete. The man who would come in and replace him at that left guard spot. McCown rolls the pocket, pressure on. That's Arrington, the ball high in the air. It's going to be intercepted. That's Macklin. And it was the pressure of, guess who? Number 11, LeVar Arrington. And a mistake by McCown in the very first. Looking up yards. Here's McCown coming outside. LeVar Arrington, see him make up ground right there, forces the interception. Macklin with the big pickoff. Courtney Brown was also out there. Both defensive players redirecting very well. Mike, this pass was thrown so badly because of the pressure. Two different people could have made the interception. Penn State for the Aggie 41. Here's the pitch. They try to pinch it, and they turn the corner. This is Kenny Watson, number 22. Straight ahead. Mitchell has five, has ten. Counted off at 12 yards. Sir Millie, the fullback. Fakes. Here's pressure. And look at the balance by Casey that ball is in Watson is the tailback this time you see the Aggies creeping up gets the pass off and he had to throw it quickly in his running 40 plenty of distance and he got it Penn State on the scoreboard first and now let's check there is a flag down it is going to be personal foul A&M Rom Gilbert did not say running into A&M really crowding the line of scrimmage you see the safeties Creeping up. Here comes Casey. Hit from the backside, and he'll be stopped. Casey. Blitz was on. In the end zone. Fields just beyond his outstretch. He missed it. So the Aggies from the 20. Straight ahead with the running play, and there will be no gain. Brown, the All-American, Kerpakis on the other side, Fleischhauer and Kennedy in the middle. The linebackers, Arrington, Short, 
And folks, Mac Morrison is awfully good. You just don't hear about him a lot. Macklin probably, well, he is the best cover guy. He had the interception back on that opening play. McCown, backside pressure. Does he feel it? Not in time. Got to be sacked way back at the 10-yard line, and it's Kirpakis. From playing the other side of Courtney Brown is, you're always going to get one-on-one -on -one protection. Justin Kirpakis with a good sack. Red eyes in that locker room after this one's over. McCown, right over the middle. It's going to be intercepted at the 30, and that's Fox. Derek Fox at the 10, 5, touchdown Penn State. Goes on top by a score of seven to nothing. Virtue of this interception, and you see Derek Fox, the senior out of Camp Ohio, taking it the distance into the end zone. We'll be right back with more from San Antonio A&M. And this one is going to send him three yards deep, and he's going to bring it out. Straight ahead with the handoff. Wow, what a hit by Kirk. I really don't know where he's going to line up, but a lot of teams like to check and run toward Arrington. This time they come toward Brown. 20, 25, and out close to the 30. Let's see where he comes. Again, the I formation. Here comes uh, Arrington. Misses to tackle, and then they trip him up. Third down of six, and so far they're making a pretty big statement. Quick pass over the middle. It is caught, and wow. Bumgardner gets set up in the Lions, and AM goes for their own 41. And penetration that time, and a nice job by Kerpakis. And I know he's got it. Bumgardner in motion at the bottom of the screen as they roll the pocket. And drills it complete. The drive coming up on second down and seven. Again, offense on the ground. Here's an option play. Evans going to be hit and knocked down for a loss. And guess who again? Number 11, LeVar Aaron plays a two interception. He needs his confidence back as they go on the ground. McCown. Taylor comes in replacing him. Third down, Texas A&A. And Haynes, the man we were just talking about with the pressure, now short is after him, and the ball is dropped. Hunter for Texas A&A. Good pass. Got under this one. He's not going to have the distance, and it will hit wide to the right. And McCoo comes in, the third tailback that we've seen tonight. Looked once, gets it out there complete, and there's the one. Actually, a long one. And there's McCoo. Boy, he ran right up. Big game ahead of him. Cases. Sings it. Fields was juggling it and lucky to have scrimmage and Casey gets by the defensive back and because of that miss a first down His athletic ability here's a fake steps inside the blitz Jay Brooks now gets outside picks up the first down it's a good block by his offense on the sideline give your defense a break Casey sets deep in the pocket and here he goes long touchdown Penn State Drummond 45 yards like to throw the ball deep. Eddie Drummond, the number 25, 9, 184 pound sophomore that can go the distance, can run, beat Cedric Curry for the touchdown. And Rashard Casey now is established. Get yeah. behind the line of scrimmage. Tombs, I'll tell you what, three. In this defensive football team, looks like they're fired up and spiked. Now here comes Swing and Gate. And look at this pursuit. Johnson is going to be tackled behind. Action by Casey. Better hurry. And he's going to be sacked by Flint at the 34 yard line. Mitty Lions lead it 14 to nothing. Slip now going to go long. And intercepted by Jennings. Count of the shotgun formation. And here comes the pressure off the corner to go with the running play in a &M situation. Clock running at 237 left until halftime, and the pass thrown complete to Taylor. McCown swings the pass out. Woo! And a great open field tackle by the All-American. This time the Nittany Lions have a return on it. I mean, it's a cannon. All the way back to the center. This is Branch. And he's a four of nine and one touchdown, 72 yards. This is 
there's Watson. He'll keep it on the ground. Watson fights his way. 44 seconds, now 43. And yep, they're going to run it again. Here's McCoo. Breaks it big. He's at midfield. And now they may have to take a shot. From the 43. Right over the middle. The tight end was there. It's coming in motion. And here comes the double reverse. And it's Drummond. Ran into his own blocker. And a nice. not going to turn over the nose of the football up AM runs away from it and Penn State can't get to it. it's going to go into the end zone now to go down to one knee and that will do it that will be the end of the first half and a few scattered does stick out, yeah, 27 yards you've got to be able to run the football against Penn State take pressure off the quarterback two big turnovers by the quarterback uh, McCown uh, hurt in round with three Aggie uh, leaders defensively uh, in just moments. This kickoff's going to go four yards deep. So here's that first carry. Five, 10, 13 yards. Right, receivers of the ball game. Dodge in motion. Hand off, and he is hit in the backfield, and there's Kirk Pankers. Down from the shotgun. Pressure on the outside. Right in the middle, there's Toombs. Johnson going to be shoved out of it. Well, Hardiman's going to be hit at the line of Penn State. Third down, and they got to take it down around the eight-yard line. The pound, the pressure is on. His arm is hit, and it's intercepted by Graham. Tip by LaVar Arrington, or at least he made the contact. He made the big play, Ron. And he, so he he causes a second interception in the ballgame. He made it. You, you always look for the great players to make big plays. He comes off the corner, beats the block of the tackle, gets his hand up there and deflects the arm of Randy McCown. Ron Graham with the interception. Tough, tough break for Texas A&M. Good pressure by Penn State. Boy, look Brandon at that. Short also in on the play. I started to say two All-Americans. Swings it out in the backfield. There's McCoo and his athletic performance. See, coming up the middle. And Casey's going to run out of it. Flag is down. Again, right over the middle, there's the tight end. And Stewart makes the catch, and it'll be first no short ball here. Tight straight ahead with the lineup and a couple of adjustments by Penn. So many attributes, it's, uh, it takes a while to count. He's got six tackles tonight. Ball over the middle, blocked by Baumgartner. Tackled as he reaches a Yates. We're going to check that here. Yates has replaced him. Quick screen up on the flat. That's not good. Then we'll be back. Sack and it's Arrington again. What can you say? Just an active, that wasn't active a sack. football player. He, he was planted. Yeah. Just overloaded the side, brought Brandon Short, Lamar Arrington, and Courtney Brown. How about those threesome coming from the same side? Tell you what. Pick your poison. Jamar Toombs, his quarterback's going to tell him there's no time to give one of those Matador <laughs> imitations here. It's the old lay block. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He got laid on the play. There's no question about that. Here's the punt. They got the pressure on the left guard. This is a beauty. Oh, what a beautiful punt. All the way back to the six-yard line is Perry. And he's going to bring it back to Hooks, although it's a tie. Here's the quick hand off to Fields. And a nice job defensively, and he gets around. Took advantage of one blocker as A&M had it to the Fields. Pass complete, and that's Gilmore, the big tight end, and he breaks the tackle, and he breaks another inside the 30 and down to the 26. Stronger than Stewart, makes a nice play here. Started with Rashard Casey making the blitz call. And then Gilmore just rumbles down the football field. Good people. Safety blitz. Gets the pass away. Stewart inside the five-yard line. 
anything a and M's doing to phase in him at all. He got some running game going. He makes some moves here. Hits Tony Stewart, the other tight end coming across, 6'5", 251 pounds junior. And he makes the defensive back, Cedric Curry, pay. But Richard Casey. First and goal. Bootleg. Daddy wide open. Going to run it. Casey will score the touchdown. Richard Casey as he will fake to the run. He's got the tight end open, as Mike said, but he tries to do the safe thing, and he will step in for the touchdown. This is the future of Penn State as far as quarterback. From the five, this is Johnson. Trying to take it outside. Ball is loose. Penn State has recovered at the 23-yard line. Just dropped the football late. Adams with a good hit, number 18. There's the good tackle, and he strips the football. Coming back to this football game and playing here. Casey, he's going to run it. Nope, now throws it, and McCoo had it go right through his hand. One interception, one touchdown, 146 yards. Here comes the pressure, and the middle screen, and the, now that may be an illegal touch. Yep, looks like. And he got it. Corny, who nailed one earlier in the ball game, and they took the points off the board, gets this one to go. And our new score, Penn State, 24 to nothing. We'll be right back. I think Penn, Penn State and, uh, had by far the toughest conference this year. Bethel Johnson. It's going to be stopped at the 16th ball game. complete and who's there to make the tackle Bum, Bum, and and, uh, people have said about him all year now starting, the pocket started the ball Terry's game making that play. hit knocks down McCown makes the tackle on Bumgardner hits the arm of the quarterback causes the interception then blitzes and Randy McCown has seen too much of LeVar Arrington you're back to live action that's Graham in pursuit of McCowan Pass over thrown. You can see Grant. Lamar Arrington uh, has a tough decision ahead of him after tonight's game, whether to leave early the NFL or to return for his senior season. At this point, you know, a lot of people have me slotted to go pretty early in the draft, and I, you know, I'm not really too sure about how everything's going to play out, but I do want to feel comfortable about knowing that I am going to be a top pick if I so choose to uh, to leave. But I don't know if I'm done with college yet. I don't, you know, people are putting in the league already, and I, don't, I just don't know if I'm, I'm ready yet. Well, as Mike said, what does he really have left to accomplish? But I'll tell you what, this number 37, Justin Kerpakis, who will be back, uh, he's got 10 tackles tonight and also has two sides. Harrington on the outside. Let's see if he comes on the blitz. Yep, here he comes, and they take it inside with the run. Toombs is going to be caught from behind by Aaron. Okay, Adrian. Third down. McCowan now running for his life. There's Courtney Brown, another All-American after him. And it'd be knocked out of bounds short of the first down. And he's need to take it to the 45-yard line and they get it with the big fella. Good ball. Harrington on the outside, hits his arm, and he causes a third interception on the ball game. Fox with his second pickoff of the night, but folks. Arrington has hit the quarterback three times and it has resulted in an interception. Wow, what a ball game. Go to break, look at the play one more time. They even try to hold him to keep him from getting there. Doesn't matter. Last the quarterback, interception. Following the penalty, the running play. They keep it on the ground and good cutback by Mitchell. Didn't have any questions about it. Brian Gander, the offensive coordinator, said they're going to play. They're going to play hard. And uh, it's because of the senior leadership of this football team. The job he's done his entire career for a and He's got two other brothers at a quarterback. Josh is a starting quarterback. And has a Taylor makes that quick move. Courtney Brown. Got by him and throws it completely. It's going to be. He, he 
enjoyed, he'd been a great head coach somewhere, but he wanted to be a Penn State coach. Puts it away and it's dropped. And they have recruiting, spring practice, a lot of times to get. Fourth down, he throws it incomplete. Jim had this, uh, this dome yesterday after they had walked through. That's McCoo, good spin move, but he's going to be covered up by Texas A&M at 12 points. Johnson, stiff arm. Good third effort, and he's still going. In right there, then they would have made it a ball game. I believe it's interception, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, interception. And ball game. Johnson, another stiff arm, and he's going to be brought down by Jennings. And well, this is Luke. R.J. Luke, but he's loving it. The Penn State section is standing up and applauding that shower that was just given as the running play Penn State. And they're not going to here tonight as well. In fact, they're going to come away with a shutout win unless some miracle occurs, and it's not going to. Music City Bowl, then Washington and K-State in the Cupkin Holiday Bowl. Now stay tuned for Sports Center Dan Patrick and Rich Eisen with all the news scores and highlights. For Mike Godfrey, Adrian Carson, and our entire ESPN crew, I'm Ron Franklin. Congratulations to Penn State University, champions of the night.